So, all right, welcome back, everyone. So, in true champion Beast of Debella fashion, I had to be the champion Debella, which means completing her quest. But first, we're gonna level up. Do some stamina. Uh, so I am able to level up because I, before I turned in the book to Gorza, the uh, last cabinet of Akrash book in. Mark Hearth, I leveled up, and then by completing her quest, she gives you two points in smithing. So that's why I have 53 smithing now. Um, I think I might hold on to my evasion. I mean, my uh, perk. Yeah, let me hold on to it. So, we're here. We're going to do some Forsworn content. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. It'd be risky. Them, like a lot of the end game content, are um, glass cannons. Alright. I think that's all of them. Cool. Which. You just have to be careful for it with as long as I space well and pick my targets correctly, prioritize which targets to hit and stay topped off on health, I should be okay. Biggest uh, worry of course is gonna be the Briar Heart at the end of the dungeon, but we're just gonna have to place uh, cautious. So a lot of them are dual wielders, which means that I can I'll take this jump look. Um, bait out the dual wield power attack, and then uh, try and space myself so that I'm farther away, far enough away that I don't get hit by them, but close enough that I can hit them with my sword, my great sword, I should say, because it is great. Anyways, um, evasion, evasion. Anything through here? I always forget. Is someone there? Is someone there? Yes, there is. <laughs> Got him. The trap isn't for me, it's a trap for you. Skyrim. I think that just goes out to here. Yeah. Just keep going this way. Yeah, here we go. Now we do have a mage in here. Careful. Be, watch out for those bounce swords. Oh shit. Gotta watch out for those fireballs more like. Do I have fire resist? I do not. Oh my god. Let's be smart. Uh, when I say smart, I mean maybe smart, maybe kind of stupid. But what can I say? It worked out. Uh, maybe I, I could have just waited here, but then she can like charge up her staff and then when she rounds the corner, she gets me. The real answer is I should not have had... Uh, should not be here without a reliable way to resist uh, fire. But anyways, 
We made it through. Oh, shoot. I did not want to use that remarkable. I thought my blue mountain flower was still bound to that. Oh, well. Anything interesting? No. No. Okay. Moving right along. So the Briar Heart gets tankier because usually they use a mage armor spell. So just doing my power attack may not be enough. I may want to actually hit him once or twice after dodging his attacks or bashing. I don't really want to fight him in here because there's a shock rune in here. That I'm not super fond of fighting around. There we go. That's good. You don't want to get him... Don't want to let them... Uh, worker loaf. That was pretty nice. You don't want to let them get in, be able to power attack you. Because they can do... They're quite perked. One-handed conjuration. Do I trust that there's no shock rune here anymore? Not really. The Bella, we have our Sybil. Are you one of them? She's quite wise for a little girl. I what they said. I've heard stories about the wonders of the great temple in Markarth, but I never. I am honored to be called for this duty. Yeah, yeah, whatever, little girl. Doesn't sound like a little girl who's been taken from her parents. Transmit water. What's this? Huh, okay. Oh yeah, or calculator. That'll be useful for the next thing we're gonna be doing. The next fun adventure we're gonna be taking here. Um Alright, so there's nothing really more for Broken Tower Redoubt. We're gonna take this girl to the Tipple Markarth and we'll Okay, and then we'll go to the next place. Alright. Now I'm a little even more worried about this next place. Maybe I want to... Oh, I already need the beast shields too. Um, then I was about the last. I want to take this. I want to take this. Let's go ahead and do this. Warrior skills, two-handed, two-handed. And then Thief Skills, Evasion, Evasion. Here we are, Liar's Retreat. The hardest part about this dungeon is the first room. Because it's just a bunch of Falmer all, all grouped together. couple of hits off. I'm worried about that shock frost over there. Oh shit. Do I have any shock resist? Yeah. Nice. Alright, let's do this. Let's get some distance. I think they follow you out, right? Yeah. I was kind of lucky that... Yeah. Okay, where's your weapon? They're just going to come out one by one? I'm kind of okay with that. This... Frost at Trinoc. Yes, I'll take that. Alright, I guess we'll go back inside. This is going much better than previous attempts I've had at this place. Almost too well, if you know what I mean.
Okay, here we go. Maybe I just didn't aggro everyone. Jeez, that was a lot of damage. Oh, 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 oh. Like I was saying, too well. Alright, let's see how they come out now. Oh, oh, poison magic. Alright, alright. That was the biggest concern. Just take these guys. It's nice and slow. Make sure I don't get caught on anything. I don't know what he's attacking. Oh, we got some help over here. Looks like. I don't know but from who. Oh, storm cloaks. That's a storm cloak camp. Storm cloak camp. I guess if I really wanted to be cheesy, I could just baited all of these guys outside and then ran over to the storm cloak camp. Storm cloak camp. Why can't I speak? Let's put another faint on. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with too many more spells. Falmer mages. Stamina. Uh, am I still saving perks? Yes. Take that. I should have some goods, right? Yeah, I do. Let's do good for now. Oh. oh, come on now. What? Oh, shh. I don't know what it was, but the the distances in that area were really okay. Usually, the Falmer are pretty good for um, getting some health potions. It looks like I'm not getting that lucky here. Be a spider or something here? No? Okay. Let's just be cool. Take it one room at a time. This is another dangerous area. Yeah. <laughs> 
stupid chars. Okay, that worked out well. Wow, two poisons of paralysis. Take these poisons, chain lightning, I'll take that as well. Uh, let's top off so I don't get burst, burst, bursted, bursted. Now I think that there are some baddies. Oh, that's my lightning sparks. Don't really care about that one. Actually, I... Okay, no, no. Not too high level. Alright, we did it! Whew! <sighs> that feels good. Okay. Long hammer. That's what we're here for. Okay, we can definitely drop this. Chain lightning, fireballs, lightning shackles. Um, chain lightning, lightning shackles. I guess I only need one of these, right? They weigh. Oh, I'll take this one. It weighs less. All right, the long hammer. Looks a bit silly on my oh no maybe five or maybe I want this is five and this is four but this is we're not just gonna be going great swords I think I said it earlier but we're also gonna be going war hammers we're gonna be going great swords and war hammers oh I missed the boss chest I don't want to miss that we're gonna be using our war hammer of course for the Dwarven and other heavily armored glass greatsword of stunning? Ah, <sighs> yes, please. Oh my. Let me put these in there for safekeeping. Glass greatsword of stunning. 164, 168. And I'm not really going to be perking into the glass smithing. But having a paralysis greatsword, that can be useful. I don't know if I want to be carrying it around the whole time. Because eventually I'm going to be able to, I think... Oh. Should be able to, um, out, out, or with the smithing perks and stuff, I'll be able to out damage it easily with the my Skyforge seal. Got some bandit, some banditos. Oh, actually, that did a good amount. Let me just come back in here. What? I could have sworn I heard him coming from... Oh, don't want those. Silver bolts. Alright, so now... We're ready for some Dwarven content. And that... Um, transitions perfectly into our next dungeon. All right, Avon Chancel, everyone's favorite dwarven ruin. I think there was a goat that was aggroed at me outside that's still aggroed with me. And I just realized that I never took my insights from Liar's Retreat. Well, I didn't just realize, but I wanted to wait until uh, we got here. Two-handed, oh, no, the vision. And we're going to use our perks. Warhammer. And I'm thinking we're going to do... 
Porker loaf this time. Get a little extra health. Get a little extra stamina. Nice. We're going to be able to go through this place pretty quickly, I think. Let's go ahead and put on a poultice. the recuperation ring inside the squire ring though. Two power attacks. That's pretty good. And I'm in combat with a lot of stuff. I have plenty of master keys. What we have here? Binding blocking. Good. Reverent Alex. Arcing Illusion. Nice. Okay. We're not really doing any. What's it? Enchanting on this guy, so. There's nothing really that I can find that I would want to use. Why are all these metal things ignoring us? Except for enchanted jewelry. Waiting for what? No one seems to know. Perhaps the return of the Dwemer. Perhaps the end of the world. Best get rid of the ones we see. Just get rid of them. Going more stamina. Uh, we're gonna save it. Restoration dagger of absorption. Am I in combat with something? It is large indeed. Chest over here. get to 50 evasion by the end of this. Yeah, probably. Let's 
some jewels over here. Garnets and rubies. Keep the region going with the blue mountain flowers. Oh, come on. That was terrible. I think that's just jewelry in there, so I'm not really super interested in unlocking that. But I will unlock this one. This one's pretty good sometimes. There's two in here. Ugh. I have... I say that, and then I don't even have a novice master key to unlock that with. I have... Master key rank 2 and 3, but not rank 1, interestingly enough. If I take the perk into lockpicking, the first perk into lockpicking, even with my werewolf detriment, I can... I'll be able to pick novice locks at least, but... I want to save my perks. Let's see if we can get a good cleave on these guys. On. Let's group up. There we go. Nice. Gyms. selling probably will want to take a evasion I mean a speech perk here we're gonna be doing some um, shouting evasion just need one more to, uh, regular and we'll be there There we go. I can't do this. We should be here. I'm sorry. Brennan. Let the field miles on. Your pain will be done. Let's do this. Nice. Twenty percent less. That's what I like to see. Ring of Destruction. Magic Suppression Shield. Lots of good stuff in the launch, and so lots of good enchanted gear. We will take this and this, of course. We're almost there. I can hear the lexicon. Come on, quickly. Something doesn't feel right. Alright, so. Wait! This. <coughs> Here we go. Is there a fortify? Do I have a fortify armor rating? I do, right? I'm gonna 
keep that going. One time I was coming through here. I wanted to use those blades to cheese. <coughs> Excuse me. To cheese the Dormant Centurion. And then it wouldn't turn back on. Oh man. One second. Okay, sorry. Whew. Phone call. Let's see how we do here. Alright, pretty good, pretty good. Chilling oil on this guy. Oh, ouch. Get back in here. Reaching up a little bit. I'm going to. I'm trying, I'm trying not to cheese this guy with the blades. I think my armor rating potion went out. Push to my dying breath. Let's be cool. We almost got this. Gotta regen up a little bit. Do I have any more? Okay, I don't have any more undying breath potions, so I can't be relying on those. Oh, this is foolish. Oh god. Ooh, that was so stupid. I can't believe that uh, I said we can't rely on our potion when dying breath anymore, and then I do that shit. That was some risky business there. But 
we persevered just barely. Without having to result to the the blade cheese. But yeah, so that's Avon Chinzel. Uh That's going to be it for the episode. We did some three, I would say three pretty scary um, dungeons. Some Forsworn, some Falmer, and then some Dwemer. I'm pretty pleased with our uh, our progress here on this build. But yeah, if you enjoyed, well, I hope you enjoyed, and if you made it this far, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.